Hey, this is the Blaring Out with Eric Blair Show, and tonight we're here at the premiere for CBGB's, a movie about Hilly Crystal and the famous Bowery Club that gave birth to punk rock. Richie Ramone, now hey. you like replaced Marky Ramone as the drummer for the Ramones. Right, you got it. You played CBGB's many times. Yes, with many different bands, you know, over the years. Name some of those bands besides the Ramones. Velveteen, uh, Remod, which probably, lit, you know, before you know, before my time with the Ramones, I used to play bands there in uh, Max's Kansas City. So, the shirts. What did you love about CBGBs? I just loved the whole time, the vibe, the, the whole thing of the Bowery and the East Village. All the rockers lived there. Alphabet City living on Avenue A with all the rats. I mean, that's just what it was. And now it's just totally different. Now it's, you know, become a little more polished, a lot more polished. It's changed. What about your relationships with the people that played there? Tell me about some of those relationships that you had. Oh, gosh. I mean, you know, some people I still talk to today, but, you know, like Frank and Fonte from Blondie and stuff like that, you know, so. But everybody, you know, we all moved on. Huge, historic figures would come in there and see bands play, like David Bowie and, of course, Iggy Pop. Right, Iggy, you know. Tom Petty played there. You know, you saw all the names on the bathroom on the wall and in the dressing room, everybody would write their name. So it's pretty cool. You know, it's a good time. So I think this would teach the kids something and maybe uh, give them a little inspiration into what the scene was like when they start writing the songs, you know? So you think it's important that movies like CBGB's come out to inspire the kids? Yeah, I think it's important to have all kinds of rock and roll movies come out to inspire these kids and, you know, to understand rock and roll and punk rock and all that, you know, rather than just listening to the pop and hip hop, you know, which so there's nothing wrong with that, it's all great. But I think they, you know, rock is getting overshadowed now. So any attention that it brings to the youth is good. What about your album? You have an album that's coming out soon. Tuesday, October 8th, Johnny's birthday and CJ's birthday. It's kind of weird how that happened, but uh, and that this happened this week. So we shoot the video Sunday. It's called Entitled. So um, we go on tour in December. Who plays on the album? I, on the album, we got Tommy Bolin, B O L A N, and uh, Jiro Kabi played bass, and I played drums and I sing. So. And then I have a different touring band, so, except for Tommy. Well, much success on that, man. Have a great night. Thanks a lot, Eric. You got it. The Blaring Out Show.